Hey YouTube, we are Great Falls, Virginia. Um, there's also Great Falls, Maryland, which is um, right on the other side of the Great Falls right there. And uh, we will do a, a little review of this national park. Um, it is in the Washington, D.C. Um, region. Um, it, you, Washington, D.C. is obviously sandwiched between Maryland and Virginia. Um, and this is between Maryland and Virginia, but it's just um, like, I don't know, 30 minutes, let's say, away from Washington, D.C. So this is one of the places you might go if you... Um, you come to the region. So anyway, this is a ranger station here. Um, you pay a small fee, but I don't remember how much it is. I want to say like maybe $8 or something to get in um, per car. Um, or you can use like a, a pass if you have like the National Park Pass. And we'll get past the driving scene really quickly. I just wanted to let you see um, the driving part and then we'll, um, we'll walk around and everything. You'll see the inside. So anyway, um, they have all these parking lots um, on the right there is the the main visitor center which is closed right now due due to covid and yeah it is like super busy um even with um like covid going on and then they have all these parking lots the falls like the viewing station for the falls is right next to that visitor center so that's why there's no parking like available like for so far because everybody wants to park in the like lot that's like really close to the viewing stations so they can just walk over and then do a little view and then i guess picnic or whatever they're gonna do um, while they're here um, but they have like a bunch of parking lots and I think that we ended up like in the third tier of parking lots I don't even think I yeah maybe I pull through one of these to just to see if there are spots second tier we ended up in the second tier of parking lots I think there's another another set of parking lots even beyond this one then they have parking on the other side, but the parking on the other side was blocked off, so I don't know um, if they're just um, not allowing people to park on the other side, or if they have an event going on, um, but but this is what you want to kind of expect. Um, I would say, you know, bring food and everything out here, um, because all they have right now is a vending machine, which is not working. <laughs> um, everything else is like totally closed um, due to COVID. And yeah, we did bring the, the corgi, and masks are required, um, but not everybody was wearing masks. So the vaccine is going out, like, really fast, um, obviously, in the United States. And um, in this particular area, um, particularly, um, since there's so much government, because, you know, we're right at Washington, D.C., almost everybody that's government has already had the vaccine. So a lot of them kind of feel they don't need to wear the mask, um, as weird as that is. Um, yeah, so I'm not, anyway, that's enough on, on that. <laughs> Um, so they have all these paths and stuff, walking paths, and it's extremely dog friendly, as you can see, even though it says, it says like, hey, danger, don't get in the water, because obviously, the, you know, the Great Falls that you saw. Um, the walking paths here are in various different difficulties. So, um, there are areas that are very extremely easy, like you, the area that you're seeing here, and then you'll see further along that there are areas that are a little more, um, more difficult. What you're seeing up there is the dam. The dam is on the northern part of the um, the Great Falls. So you have a large dam. Uh, no, dam. When I say large, it's, it's not like Hoover Dam. I mean, it's just wide. Um, I want to kind of guess maybe five or six feet. And then there's other sections right here, like you can see, that are a little more arduous um, with bigger rocks. But there are, and the camera's pointing down so you can see the rocks, obviously. Um, but anyway, there are um, like roads like gravel roads that you shouldn't be driving on, I guess for the forestry service that are adjacent to this, so you, um, like this would be one of them right here. So if you didn't want to walk through all those rocks, um, you could walk down the gravel road. Um, so you have choices basically is what I'm saying. Um, you can go, what is the easier route? And this right here, this is actually, these rocks are pretty big. These rocks are like the size of my foot. Um, so you could like twist your ankle or something like that. So it's not like terribly easy to walk on. It's not like um, sidewalk. But they do have um, various different different um, difficulties, and this is the, the like I was saying the, the far north um, part of the Great Falls, and you're actually going to see a sign soon. The sign up there says you're leaving Great Falls, and then if you look at it on the other side, um, it says you're entering Great Falls, and that is the dam right there that I was talking about um, that is on the northern edge of the Great Falls. The other side of the river, actually the river too, is Maryland. Um, there is some unusual laws. Um, Virginia apparently doesn't like water, so we don't own any of the water that goes around um, our state. Um, the water actually belongs to Maryland, where in most states, like it's a middle. 
So here's a map of where we're at. Like I said, we're, we're at the very tip, right there, way up there. And you can see um, Great Falls has that whole park. And we we started kind of closer to the middle, and, and it does get more and more arduous as you leave the um, the park. So anyway, the borders and stuff, um, that's kind of interesting. Um, like Grace, when she hit, was in the water, like even right now, maybe I'm standing in the water, I'm in Maryland. <laughs> Um, as soon as you step in the water, like you're in Maryland, and then as soon as you step out of the water, you're in Virginia. It's kind of weird. Yeah, and you'll probably think, no, it's not like that, Nathan. Um, it's not like that in other states, but in, in between Maryland and Virginia, like, the border's right there. You can see it, like, the little spot where the water is, and the border moves. Uh, wherever the water is, like, that's where the border is, right there. So anyway, now you learn some interesting trivia. Um... I think it's part of the reason why, like, there's so few bridges between Maryland and Virginia, because Maryland has to pay for all of them, because they're all, like, in Maryland. <laughs> the, the only part that ever is in Virginia is the part where it, like, touches the land in Virginia. So this is the easier uh, um, walking path, as you can see. When we walked up here, we walked um, up the other side, the left side, a little bit, kind of between those trees. So now that we've done our little... Um, walk and well, we're going to be walking longer obviously um we're going to head down to the viewing station which is like what you saw initially and there are three different viewing stations um at great falls that you're, you'll learn about and uh, for the viewing stations um one of them is kind of up close and the next one is a little bit further away and then the next one is even further away and i pref we prefer the one that's up close so you can actually be close to the falls um they say that like the one that's the farthest away has the best view because you can see the widest amount um, but to me um, you know I, I like things I guess close to me and stuff so we've never been to the Maryland side um, of Great Falls I've seen the signs for it when we were in Maryland. Like every time we go to the, the seasonal campground, um, which is like every other weekend, we drive by the sign that says like Great Falls, but we've never actually been there. So um, we should go over there at some point. So this is a can canal right here. And then you'll see like another um, shot of like a more dried out area of it. And this is a canal right here also. Um, if you know um, history of Washington DC and, and the history of why Washington DC is where it's at, part of it has to do with canals. Um, basically, in the old days, um, they used these canals for transportation to move um, goods around. So it was extremely important to have um, all these canals. So th this is a visitor center again, and it's closed. There's restrooms up um, on the right. I don't even know if the restrooms are open right now with COVID. And then they have this humongous um, picnic area. And this is a description showing some pictures of the, um, the view basically and like I said um, it's the same exact view as if you didn't notice it's just a matter how far back you are and then this is the actual view of Great Falls there is a person hiking if you look right in the center with a um, canoe kayak with a kayak on their back so you're gonna about to see some kayaking of Great Falls which is really really rare um, to see but I, and I don't even know how you get permissions to, um, to kayak a national monument but I guess he has the permission to do that so what he's doing is he's hiking from the base of the the Great Falls here and then he's hiking up to the top of it with his kayak on his back and then he'll just um, kayak down and if you look at the arrow real carefully you'll see him go down and I thought we thought he was gonna go somewhere but he is just practicing in this area in front of the viewing station because I'm like looking for him to come out, looking, 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 and he never comes out. And then later on I realized he just basically stopped and started hiking that same little path that you already saw. And like I was saying, there's three viewing um, locations on the Virginia side. And this is the, that was the, um, the close one. And then the other ones are just further back. So anyway, um, the next video that we release will be a camping video, believe it or not. We are um, getting ready to open our seasonal campsite. So you're going to get to see us um, unpack and uh, set up the site um, and get a, a little tour of our camper and everything this year. So anyway, um, please um, like and subscribe and we will see you guys around. Um, thank you.